Hey guys, it's Mutt75846631. Just kidding. You can call me V. Okay, V. Why don't you tell me everything about this? Particle tutorial! Welcome to part 2 of the RFMC tutorial on how to utilize particles. Today, we will be focusing on how to create effects using meshes and parts. So I've selected this ball, which I would like to highlight in this video, about the particles that are being used. You can find these particles using the library function in studio or online on the webpage. These particles I really recommend using as there's a lot of diversity in these. And also, they would really make really cool, say like, just effects in general. Especially the black ball with the ray and the aura around it, but let's just turn off the color correction so we can see it better. So now I'll show you how to make one mesh you find and make it into a mesh part. So what you want to do is you want to go into the meshes property, so let's select the mesh, and copy the mesh ID. Afterwards, insert any random mesh you want. I inserted the wings mesh, so I'm going to paste the ID and there we go. It's easy as pie. Uh, I also do recommend removing the mesh texture if you want, but I do. And and honestly, this really helps making cool effects easier. So now that the animation is done, and yes, I did skip the whole process of me animating to save time making the video. So what you want to do is find the part you want to add, and we'll be doing C-frame in size. Transparency will also be touched on later in this video, so stay tuned. And what I'm going to be doing is, I'll be adjusting the C-frame of this ball so that it moves and tracks with my hand when I'm throwing it. So first, let's make the ball disappear. Let's just move it down, and let's select the C-frame in size at the track. Then I'll copy it and then paste it right in the beginning. And I guess I made a mistake, but it's an easy fix. But after just, you know, fixing it, I'm just going to go straight into moving the ball. It's a pretty simple process of moving it. So for me moving the ball, I won't actually narrate myself doing it. I think it's a pretty simple process. Just watch. So after you're done tracking your uh, little effect, what we're going to be doing is now we're going to add the impact effect. So we're just going to add this big cylinder, uh, just going to mm, resize it, alright, like that, and we'll be doing the same thing. So we're just going to move it there, where the brightness is making it a problem, but hopefully we should be able to uh, work with it still so we're just gonna resize it you know pre prepare it before we actually add it so uh, let's just move okay let's just move it down first so that's the starting position uh, all, right. all right so we're going to do the uh, C frame in size all right uh, actually uh, let's do transparency as well yeah for the uh, cool fade in and fade out effect that once the beam uh, happens it fades in and then afterwards it fades out stuff like that you know so now that it's in position now let's just 
change the size of it. Okay, so now that you've timed the effect going like expanding once the uh, ball happens, uh, we're still we're just going to have to add the impact, like the explosion, like this guy right here. Right, so let's just resize him. Uh, let's just prepare this guy first, and let's also change the uh, material so it's easy to edit. We'll be changing the material back to neon later on, though. And it's pretty much the same process as last time, but I will be uh, speeding it up. After you've uh, finished your impact frames, we're going to be now heading into the territory of transparency. So I'm going to change this to 0.5. After that, add to track. We'll be doing the same thing to the beam as well, so add to track. Right now, I'm just uh, checking out the transparency keyframes, see what's happening. All right, so let's just change that to one at track. All right, uh, and then um, let's change that to one as well uh, to track. And uh, this is what it should look like. All right, so let's just do this the same at the uh, beginning. So let's just change this to uh, 0.6 actually. That's perfect. Yeah, add to track. Okay, so. Yeah, let's add. Yeah, that's good. And let's change the effect FX explosion to 0.6 as well. And, uh. Oh. Uh, okay, so 0.6 again. Add to track. Yeah. Now we're going to change the material back to neon and see how it looks. And it's pretty good. It's really good. Although, let's see if it needs fixing. So, so far it looks really good. Uh, I'll be previewing the finished animation though. I did however add uh, a couple little things, but let's uh, go watch it. Alright, so that's pretty much it. That's how you use uh, parts and meshes for any uh, animation or film you're gonna make. Thanks for sticking by. This was a blast to do. My name is Mutt75846631, or as other people know me as V, and uh, thanks for watching.